So if we have two vectors, we can have vector v and vector u. Vector u. And we know that if we want to find the projection of v onto u now, we can look at this and say, we line up about there, so we can draw it in blue and say that this here is the projection projection of v onto u. And if you remember back to the vector subtraction video, you would know that this vector here, you can draw it in green, is we can call this vector, we can call this vector v minus the projection of v onto u. And we want what we want to prove here is the projection of v minus projection v onto u onto u is zero. And this whole term here just came from the green letters over here for the green vector. And we want to prove that the projection of this vector, which is perpendicular to u, we can even draw that in, we can make a little right angle there. We want to prove that this is zero. So let's let's get to it. Let's start writing it out. Let's see what happens. So we'll say that the projection of v minus, let's see, projection of v minus projection of v onto u onto u is equal to we put this all in brackets and say u times v minus projection of v onto u over u dot u all times u. And because of the properties of the dot product, we can change the top half here to say u dot v minus u dot projection of v onto u projection of v onto u over u dot u, and once again this is all times u. And we'll just continue on down here, and if we simplify this further, we'll find that this is still u dot v minus u, and we're going to have to put this in brackets because now it's u dot the projection of v onto u, which is, looks like this, it looks like u dot v over u dot u times u and this is all still over u dot u and also this is all multiplied by u still and if we keep going with this we'll find that in fact u dot v minus and what we can do here is the same thing as we did in the previous video is rearrange this and it will be minus u dot v over u dot u times u dot u. And this is all still in brackets, and this is all still over u dot u. So then, oh, still, and it's also still multiplied by u. So then we can keep going with this further, and we can notice that here there's a u dot u, and here there's u dot u, and those are going to cancel each other out. So if we just cancel those, we will get, we'll keep it in brackets, we'll say u dot v minus u dot v over u dot u, all times u, which would equal 0 over u dot u, times u. And if we keep going, we'll finish up down here. We'll find, well, this is equal to 0 over u dot u would just be 0 times u. And 0 times u is equal to 0. And this makes total sense because, say, if you think back to the last video, or two videos ago, when we were talking about having a light source shining, shining onto this vector u, and we have all the rays coming in like this, um, 
because this this line has absolutely no width it's just a line it's not actually going to create any shadow on you